Oh, it's blurry. Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I don't know what's going on here. It's a mess. <sighs> it's Friday as I'm vlogging. I'm trying to get back into three day a week vlogging. So we shall see. But it is noon. My new routine that I've been trying the last couple days is I try to go to bed when my dad goes to sleep, which is very difficult because I usually stay up later. Um, and then when he's in the morning making noise, I get up. Sometimes that's five, sometimes it's six. Today it was around almost seven. So I get up, I tend to him, get him all, whatever we need to do would be whatever. Um, medication, see if he'll eat something, get him a boost, just make sure he's comfortable. Take the dogs out, feed the dogs, all those things, tidy up. And then I will go back to bed for a little nap of like two hours. And I feel like that helps a lot in helping me stay refreshed the rest of the day. Cause I need a lot of sleep. I'm not one of these people like, I need four hours of sleep. No, I need like 10, 10 hours of sleep. That's what I need. Um, so this is helping me get more sleep and then I'm refreshed the rest of the day and can get things done. So waiting on an aide to come today to help clean him up. And then we'll be alone for the weekend, which is, hmm. Um, he, the nurse came yesterday and tried to get him up to move to the couch and he just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. We need, you know, they have these like lift systems where basically like a thing kind of scoops you up with straps and can move you. I feel like we almost are at the point we need that. Otherwise he's never going to get out of bed again. And that's just depressing. So that is what's going on so far. It's a lovely day, but it is a, this isn't a holiday weekend. Next weekend's a holiday weekend. It's gonna be hot and humid this weekend. Not that I'm going anywhere. <gasps> but anyway, that's what's up so far. Hey there. What are you doing? Hey, hi everyone, I'm Teddy. I'm wearing a diaper because I like to pee. I do, I love it. I have to lift my leg and pee everywhere. I do, yeah. And hey, what about Charlie over here? Charlie, oh, what's going on buddy? They have been sleeping with my dad the last two nights, which has also been a big help. Keeps gives him comfort, and actually it gets it helps me sleep better because when they're sleeping with me, you know they're just I'm not used to that having two of them, one of them, but two of them, then they just like kick me out of my own bed. You do? Have you been sleeping with Papa? You sleep with Papa? Yeah, you like it in there, don't you? And we're all sleeping a little bit better because of that, <laughs> right? Are you good babies? What's today? Is Friday? Is the aide coming today? <gasps> Whenever anybody comes to the house, Teddy just barks and barks and barks and barks. Whereas Charlie wants to go and say hello and Teddy hides. Charlie likes to say hi to the people, don't you, Charlie? Teddy, not so much. Are you hiding from the people, Teddy? And barking on nonstop? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I do have two Etsy orders this morning. First is this holographic lion sticker. This is the last one I had of this one. I'm really struggling with what to do with my sticker shop. If I want to continue, if I should reorder things or if I should just let it sell out. Um, it's like a hobby, you know, honestly, it's a little hobby. It's not very profitable because I just buy more stickers. <laughs> I run it exactly how you shouldn't run it. Um, and I'd like to get more into like a print on demand model but unfortunately with stickers it's too expensive like it all of the sticker companies charge like four dollars to ship one sticker that's not gonna fly so i don't know some of them my most popular i've been doing some reorders on the other option would be maybe like just do magnets but i really or just do magnets and holographic stickers and drop the matte stickers things like that just to kind of narrow the focus of it but um I don't know about this one if I want to do a reorder or not probably not it was the only it just it was just a sticker I didn't have anything else with it and it has taken a while to sell it wasn't like a super popular one but I have sold out of it so I don't know but we'll get this one out today the second order is all of the London themed stickers so they got one of the three inch stickers and these are all vinyl so they're waterproof heat safe scratch resistant the double decker bus, the black police car, the phone booth, and then they also got the sheet of the stickers. These are about a one and a half inch. I'd had people ask for a smaller version, so I made a sheet of them. So 
anyway, I don't think the mailman's come yet, so hopefully I can get these out today. Otherwise, I do have to go out. Well, I want to go out and run one errand today. We'll see how my dad's doing, and then I could drop them off in the mail. Well, it is 2.45. Still waiting for the aide to come. Give him a sponge bath and... I'm like, please come. We're now, the nurse told me yesterday to like make sure he doesn't get a, you know, a bed sore. Kind of have to prop him up on a pillow on either side. So like two hours on the left, then let him lay flat. Then the next two hours on the other side during the day. He does move around a lot. Like she said, he does kind of wiggle around. So, you know, during the night, you don't have to worry about it. But, oh my God, it's just, he needs a way to get out of bed. You know, they make those lift things where it's like straps and stuff go under you and then you can pull them up and move them that's what we need he cannot be just left to be in his bed for the rest of his life no so i need to talk to them about getting something like that they seem like they can rent anything they just have to you know know <sighs> and yeah oh i've got a giant bag of m&ms because i got the m&ms to put in my in my jars for decoration but then these didn't fit. So now I've got this whole bag. My friend Christy, who is watching this video, she used to be, I don't know, she still is, but I'm going to call you out, Christy, with your calorie counting because she used to come in with her afternoon snack of a bag of M&M portioned out. So she'd have a little baggie with exactly a serving of the little M&Ms. Mind you, this girl is, she is a thin, petite woman. And she is out there counting her M&M's out. It's like my mom. My mom was dying of cancer on chemo and still on Weight Watchers. It's that 80s diet culture, 70s, 80s diet culture that Gen X has been targeted with. Not me. I don't care. Because like, why be healthy? You could die any day. I'm going to eat these M&M's. I mean, I'm not going to eat the whole bag, but I'm not going to count them either. Christy, quit counting your M&M's and just eat some, girl. Well, look who's up in the living room. He said he wanted to try to get up. So I was able to transfer him to the wheelchair um, and get him out of the living room. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, my arm is killing me. I've messed up my elbow in all of this, but I did get him out there. I can't bear the thought of him just laying in bed all the time. Cause that's how you just, you lose all hope and decline, so. He's up in the living room. I got him a new shirt and he's got the heater on, even though it's like 90 somehow. So anyway, and I asked him if he wants something to eat. And he said, yes, so I'm gonna give him a little so food. using that Hy-Vee delivery through Shipped, I ordered him a meatloaf dinner. I don't think they used enough parsley. Oh my God, look at all that. Anyway, I'm gonna heat up just a little bit for him, see if he'll eat any of it. And if he does, I can always give him more. So here's his plate. <laughs> I put butter on the corn and the potatoes. I'll give him the salt shaker. I put the sour cream on the side. I put more ketchup on the meatloaf. Found some pears in the fridge. And then this is one of these little Aldi desserts. So he did eat two ice cream. Um, he had a Snickers ice cream bar and a fudge bar earlier. Um, and then two boost drinks. But hopefully he will eat this. And then mine, I'm eating the Longhorn Steakhouse. So... This is my portion for tonight, and I still have two servings for tomorrow. So this is just so much easier than cooking for me, um, especially when, like, I, he will not eat this food. So it doesn't, you know, I know people are like, why don't you give him some of that? He won't eat it. <laughs> I got the um, steak with the Parmesan crust on it, too. So anyway, I'm going to heat mine up, but we'll go give him his and... Hopefully he'll eat it. Well, that didn't go over well. He really didn't want that. He's eaten a little bit of the pear and the other dessert, but not much, so. And then Teddy threw up. Teddy, did you throw up? I did, Mom. I threw up. Okay, well, just going great around here. <sighs> just got out of the shower. It was an eventful evening since I last vlogged. My dad sat out in the living room for about three hours, maybe? But he kept like saying, he was just confused. What are we doing? He said, are all the stores open? And what am I doing? And then he kept putting the leg rest down, kickstand on the chair, down, 
throwing the blanket off. I'm like, what are you doing? I don't know. So then he, I said, well, you want to go back to bed? Well, I might as well. I said, if you want to go back to bed, but you're going to have, it's one time. <laughs> I can't move you again. So moved him back to bed, got him settled in there and he's good. My arm has been killing me and I messed up my elbow. So I've been icing that. And then Teddy got something into something that caused him to vomit multiple times. All over the carpet, all over all the blankets that I had just washed. <laughs> but whatever it was, they got to just get it out. So he was drinking a lot of water, throwing up, drinking a lot of water, throwing up. So that was for a couple hours. And of course, watching him, I mean, he was fine. Otherwise, he just got into something, which happens, especially him. He sticks his face in everything. So he's okay, but I've just been watching him, making sure he's okay. <sighs> so I'm pooped. I had just almost caught up with the laundry and I was like, you shouldn't have, you know, gotten cocky there because you were like, I'm almost caught up with laundry and now all the laundry's back and it's in the basement and I don't want to go down there and I forget about it. But anyway, my vlog went up today and I have gotten so many Etsy orders um, for multiple stickers and magnets. So thank you so much to everyone who ordered. I'm going to go ahead and show you um, what came through. Sorry, I can hear my dad talking. Sometimes he just talks in there. I'll hear this noise and it's just him chatting. Anyway, let me show you what's sold. First order, I don't think this came from somebody on who watched YouTube, but um, I will say it just in case from Crystal in Tennessee. And she got one of the Cat Mom magnets ordered from Tracy in Florida and she ordered so many she gets a bubble mailer so she ordered three of the little cupie doll pumpkin costume Halloween doll that's not what it's called what do I call this one cupie style baby doll and a jack-o-lantern pumpkin stickers and magnets <laughs> oh Etsy keywords you're fun she also got two of these mid-century modern tinsel tree stickers one of the mid-century modern holographic stickers, two of the gingerbread uh, snow globe stickers, two of the teal record player stickers, one holograph ice cream truck sticker, and then also two of these Candy filled jack o lanterns, holographic stickers. <laughs> so, thank you, Tracy. And I'll, of course, put freebies in here as well. From Wendy in Tennessee, and she left me a little note on Etsy. Thank you so much. Um, and she ordered one of the sloth and donut magnets, one of the leave me alone stickers, one of the I can do hard things, I just don't want you stickers and one of the holographic retro television stickers. Did I say that? Yes, holographic, the holographic ones. I'm obsessed with the holographic. Thank you, Wendy. Next order is from Crystal from California, and she ordered one of the holographic London stickers, one of the little waving pug stickers, so cute. Then she got one of the unicorn skeleton magnets as well as the matte sticker in that design so thank you crystal and then finally angela in north carolina placed a big order so she will also be getting a bubble mailer she ordered one of the halloween <coughs> excuse me black cat magnets one of the let's see I've got all the magnets and they're sticking together. There you are. One of the Christmas tree magnets. She ordered a lab mom magnet. One of the, I love this design, this kind of mid-century modern purple reindeer ornament magnet. <laughs> the blue and pink lovebird magnet. This white and blue snowy scene Christmas magnet. She also got a lab dad magnet and one of the theme park magnets. So thank you so much, Angela. 
tucking freebies into your order as well. Oh, I should mention everybody gets freebies. It's just, you know, how much you order, you get more freebies. It's just, I use, sometimes I give more freebies than the person actually ordered because I'm that person. <laughs> oh, well, it is Saturday and it looks, we are gonna get some severe weather today. Um, last night was rough because of Teddy. Um, he had thrown up, you know, and he drank a bunch of water. Whatever he'd gotten into, he got it out. You know, and so I was watching him closely, but he was drinking water, throwing up, drinking water. And so like, he got it all out and he was fine. Except at that point he'd thrown up everything that he'd eaten and he wanted food. So I was gonna keep him with me in my bed, just, you know, make sure he's okay. And so he just sat there and stared at me for like, <laughs> until finally it was like, I wanted to wait. I didn't want to give him, you know, a bowl of food and have him get sick again. So about four, we finally got up and fed him and Charlie too. Took him out, checked on my dad, went back to bed and he just calmed down. <laughs> just been, he'd been holding out for that food. So he's great. He's fine. All okay. Oh, dogs, I tell you what, it's hard when they can't tell you, you know, what's wrong. But I knew it was something he ate. You just, by this time, you just know. And he was getting it out. He was fine otherwise, so. Experience, but they are both now sleeping on my lap. My dad is sleeping. Um, I got him to drink a boost drink, got him his morning meds, and he just fell back asleep. He's just really tired. And it's, you know, when it's a cloudy, dreary day, you just feel, ugh. So, it doesn't help when there's no sunlight coming in the house. He has a couple lamps on in there, and but he's just nice and cozy in his bed. So... Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of relax here and watch the weather. Um, I'm not going to put the Etsy orders that came in last night out for the mail because I don't want them to get wet in case it starts raining. They wouldn't get go anyway until Monday, so it's fine. Um, and hopefully I can, maybe I'll bring my laptop out and do some work out here. We'll see. But anyway, that's the exciting update for Saturday morning so far. My Saturday morning used to be all about estate sales. I don't even know if there's any estate sales this weekend. Haven't even looked because it almost is like I don't even want to know. I can't go. And that's okay. The thing with these kind of things, they'll always be there. Like eBay will always be there. There's always more estate sales. There's it's like, People get the FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. But it just, it never ends the cycle of it with more. There's so much stuff in the world. So anyway... Yeah, I'm just relaxing with the puppies. They have decided they're, they're going to nap on my lap, which means I won't be moving for a while, but that's okay. Well, it's almost five. Took a little nap, more like just a rest, but I had the dogs in with my dad and then Charlie now, he can bust past the baby cane and come in. So, but still yucky. I thought if we were going to get like really severe weather, I thought it would have hit by now, but... I was going to show you guys this bug zapper thing, which is saving the backyard. Um, this thing is amazing because normally you just can't even be out here. It's too buggy. It's disgusting when you pull the tray out and you see all the dead bugs. But let me tell you what, the sucker works. I got the Black & Decker one. There are other like non-name brands on Amazon. You know, everything on Amazon's private label now. But I went with this one just because the reviews were so good compared to the other ones. Um, so, yeah. I have uh in my amazon store i have like a favorites household favorites i'm gonna try to remember to add it to that so the am uh, there's a link under the video to my amazon page where like all my books are and there's teddy pooping that's that's great footage there sorry i don't think you can see him anyway and i'll try to add this to the household favorites because 10 out of 10 recommend worth the money if you have the bugs and have a lot of trees here so i definitely do but awesome disgusting to clean but it definitely it definitely works now we've had rain i'll probably have to mow soon but you can see the grass is dead and dry and i don't care i don't care i'll take the dead dry grass because then i don't have to mow and why is it longer over there and dead here what's going on what's going on so this is that arthritis medicine i was talking about that I'd originally gotten for my dad i think i got it at sam's club and it was a three pack because it's expensive but it works better for me right now with this pain in my arm than the icy hot or anything else. And then, of course, good old 
arthritis um, acetaminophen, which is this Tylenol. So, yeah. <laughs> if you got the pains, this stuff, I mean, it doesn't make it completely, but it's better than what I get if I just use, you know, trying to use the Icy Hot or a um, cold pack. And like the pain is all the way from my shoulder to my wrist, but mainly the worst of it's in my elbow. And it's just from pulling him up and trying to support him. So he is asleep. He is napping. I moved the heater into his bedroom. You can see there because he's always cold. So cleaned him up a bit and he's just really tired today. And that's okay. <laughs> nice and cozy in there. Oh look, laundry to fold. I think this is all the sheets. <laughs> the I've got half the blankets in the wash now. No, I've got puppy pads. Wait, I just did puppy pads. They're in the dryer. Half the blankets are in the wash. Oh my God, it's never gonna end. <laughs> well, let's see what's in today's round of packages. Oh, the news just broke in. Let's see, where am I? Uh, Black Hawk County, is this for me? It is. Severe thunderstorm warning. Oh, pfft. what's that gonna do? Eh, whatever. <laughs> Like, you got to give me a tornado warning with a tornado spotted 10 minutes from my house for me to, like, worry. Oh, we're also owning a tornado watch, too? Oh, yeah, fun. But not a, war not a warning, just a watch. Severe storm warning? Okay, that means it could happen. Watch, you just want to be on alert. Okay, first thing I got was a double-handled sippy cup. This is designed for adults. Um, so it's larger, it's got the lid there in the sippy part. So we'll see if this might help. I got these kid ones, but it said no leak, no drip. Well, my butt, it didn't leak and drip all over. And then he threw them away. <laughs> I looked in the garbage and there they were. I was like, yeah, that's kind of where they belong. So we'll see if this works. All right. So I did a reorder of the Cat Mom magnets, the orange ones. I do have these in purple as well, um, cause those are sold out. And then I got some more of the fireworks stickers. These are the holographic ones, and these uh, came from Sticker Mule. That's where I order um, my stickers, my magnets, my promo material, all of that. I think I have a link below. Um, get you $10 off your first order if you've never ordered from there. You just upload your files and then choose the ones you want. And I always order under the um, samples because I can get a sample pack of 10 for $9, which is considerably less than if you were to order like a whole pack. The price goes up a lot. so. I just mainly stick to the sample packs and um, it takes about a week to get them. So, got those. So I ordered another pack of the um, foot peel things. I should say another, I haven't done this in years, but I was watching something online and it popped up. It's like, I wanna try that again. So, and then this is what I got for my elbow. Came faster than it was supposed to. So that's awesome. So I just need to put this in the freezer and um, maybe get some relief for that. Kind of a silly thing to order from Amazon, but I was ordering other things, so I got more straws. The regular kind, as well as these thicker ones, which are better for like when I make them a milkshake. And then I got him another pair of the, or I guess it's not a pair, it's a night shirt. And I wish now I hadn't ordered it because I put the other one on him and it has buttons and it was poking him. But you can kind of like drape this across him, so I'll keep it. And then this is another, some sort of tumbler that hopefully does not, oh, come on. Hopefully doesn't drip. And it has a handle, I believe. Is this the one I got? Nope. I thought this had a handle. Oh, you have to put the handle on. Oh, that's kind of dumb. It has a removable handle. Okay, well, there's that. <laughs> There's what it looks like put together. It comes with a lid if you want to sip out of it and two metal straws and a cleaner. Then I got the Ellen box sent to me again. Um, they never contact me about this, but every quarter this subscription box shows up. It says it's the spring box, even though we're in summer now. So I don't know. We'll open that and see what we got in here. So it's actually later in the evening. Um, got distracted, had to get dinner, although my dad didn't eat anything, but I got him another boost. So he drank three boosts today. 
um, and a little bit of ice cream and some root beer. And so it is what it is. When you're not doing anything during the day, you know, you're not really hungry. So finally getting back to opening the Be Kind by Ellen box. So let's see what this is. Here's the magazine. And this says, I love summer. The card says spring. So I think that's a mess. A mistake. This is the summer box. We've got random cards. And we have a, oh, a heart-shaped cutting board. Let's look in the magazine and see where, where that is. It is hard charcuterie board. $40. $40. Are you kidding? I think they're kidding. That's a joke. I mean, it's cute. Um, it says it comes with a set of cheese knives. Here we go. That are a value of 15 So we've got some cheese knives in there. Then summer cheese board. One hard cheese, one soft cheese, one funky cheese, something brined, something sweet, and your favorite crackers. Well, that's special. Okay. Next, we have tea. I don't drink tea. So there's that. <laughs> um, says that, are you a $35 value? Are you kidding me? They're kidding me. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we've got reusable plant. Whoa. What is going on? Alert on the TV. We never got the severe weather here, but now it's going to Delaware County. That's not us. Yikes, that was loud. Okay, reusable um, paper towels. That's kind of cool. I was going to try these. It says these are um, $9.99. And then they also have this set of reusable lunch bag. And it says this is $7.99 value. And looks like we've got some beauty. Some beauty. Um, I guess that's just in book, Bookseo. Oh, it's this card. You get a subscription for, I don't know. Use code be kind to check out for 10% off any of the books, but then it gets a $35 value. I'm not sure what the deal is there. Oh, you get one book. Okay, I guess, whatever. There's that. I used to be a ferocious reader and I can't read anymore. I mean, I can read. I just don't want to. So, it looks like maybe got two lip glosses. When I was only supposed to get one. No, I got two. Um, oh yeah, supposed to get two, bundle of two. And it says that these are $29.98 value mineral fusion hydro shine lip gloss. Locks in moisture. And, oops, something fell on the floor. Then this is, I know Teddy, here, I know. If it's on the floor, it's in Teddy's mouth. This is coffee bean eye cream. And it says that this is a $29 value. Makes your eyes pop out of your head like coffee. And then, do we have anything else? There's these cards down in here. I'm assuming that they are, oh, like a postcard from this particular artist, I believe, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not sure, don't know. Well, I think that's what they're, anyway. So that is the Be Kind by Ellen summer box that just randomly shows up at my door every three months. Oh, here we go. $15, $15 for these three cards. Now, come on. Can we talk about inflated value? No, $15. But nice products, you know, I guess. 
Got a night cream, the tea, two lip balms, the reusable lunch set, the reusable paper towels, and the cheese board. It's kind of nice that the things work together. Like you don't get to get the cheese board. You get the cheese knives. You get the paper towels and the bags and the lip gloss. So it's kind of nice that sometimes you get boxes. Well, a lot of times you get boxes and it's just the most random stuff thrown in. So it definitely has a theme that they stick to pretty well. So I don't know. You guys can let me know your thoughts on the Be Kind by Ellen box. And I know I will forget to link it below. So where's the website? Uh, the Ellen Shop. At the Ellen Shop. That's not a website. That is a Instagram. Uh, I guess I don't know. I don't know, I just Google Be Kind by Ellen. <laughs> Do you want to find it? Because I know I'll forget to link it. And that's a wrap on today's video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Also check the description box below the video for all of my links. You can find links to my books, my eBay store, my Etsy shop, and more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.